Ah, tu jauh. Okay, now we start to load the film to the printer. We find out the film, but we must pay attention to that the film has two sides. One side is smooth, smooth side that without any coating. Another side is with coating. It's matte, so we must uh, use the matte surface for print, but. This, the smooth surface side is not for print. So we loosen the roller and we put on the roller system to be sure it's fast and wear. And also the, the size position, we must be sure the low paper must be at the middle of the of the whole flat bit, and then we fasten it. Be sure it can move freely like this. Then we look look lock it for the two wheels to make sure the paper will not loosen and not shaking, not bending. After that, we can start to load the film to the printer. Please pay attention to it again. This side is for print. This side with matte, with matte side, and the glossy smooth side is at the bottom. The matte side is for print. Then we push up the roller. Then we take up the front release holder for the wheels, for the pinch lower. We move up, then all the wheels can move up. The pinch lower move up. Then we load the film from the bottom to the front, from the back side to the front side. And be sure it's flat at the middle. The edge of the film must be the same level of the edge of the platform. Then we load the pinch for both sides to prevent the film bending. Up that we release the pinch roller holder. So this is the procedure to load the film to the printer. Okay, after we load the film to the printer, then we can start to load the film to the powder processing system. So first we release the pinch roller and we pull the film go through for the dusting system then we start to load the film to the take up device we use the tap to tap Button, the surface of the lower.
the empty, empty roller. Then we put the roller to the pick up device. Then adjust the position. The same edge for left and right side. Then we fasten it. For the both screws. Then we pick up, pick out the roller. To load up. Like this. Okay, so this is the procedure to load up the film. To load the film to the printer and to the powder pro powder processing system. film go from here and go through to the powder dusting system and then go down to here and then go through to the baking planner then go out and then go to the roller up system then we go to the software and we go to test and we choose first head status print. Before we click the head status, we must be sure we have the film to load on the machine. And also the printer already have ink load to the printer head. And also we did the head cleaning before. So after we did the head cleaning for several times, if you are the first time to load ink, we must do the head cleaning for three or five times. So after we did, then we can go to do another check to check if all the nozzle is printed where. We go to software and we choose X margin for example we put 28 and then we go to the check, click check. Before we do the check print, we must be sure the carriage move freely. There's, a, there's, no, there's nothing stay on the surface of the table. To, to block the carriage moving and scratch the print head. After be sure that the rear is clean, then we go to click check. Then the carriage starts to print, not to check print. So this is another check print. Two, two channel for, 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 for magenta and two for yellow, two for science, two for black. And the white ink is at the front from here, you can see. The white ink is hard to see because the film is, is white. But even if we enlarge, we can also see the nozzle, the white ink nozzle from here, the lines. So the white ink nozzle also good. And then we go to the, the color ink nozzle. We can see this the magenta, two magenta, all are good, and two yellow, and two cyan, and two black. So if we can have a good not check print like this, that means all the ink are loaded from the ink damper to the cap to the print head completely. It's good result. If you cannot have a good alignment or have a, if you cannot have a good head cleaning uh, or not a check print like this so it's better to do the head cleaning again for several times from the software or you load the ink by the injection for each damper again maybe the ink damper have air inside so the bubbles bubbles inside then you cannot have good the not check print so 
in one word, if you want to have a good uh, job print quality, you first must be sure if you do the not check print like this, all the channel is coming out. Or at least you can you must be sure you have over 90% the nozzle is pretty good. If you have if you cannot have good not print print, so when you print we have some uh, the branding the bending the issue like this. This is the good not check print for each channel for color and for white. The white is at front. Also for each channel, if you put Epson uh, i320 in the head, you will have eight channels for the color bar in jet. So this is the color bar as we said before. This is the color bar, the size, color bar from here, at the left, at the right side of the image. So this uh, with the not check print. So after we do the not check print, then we can do, we can start to do the alignments for the print head.